Damn, this thing looks so cool right now. <laughs> All right, boys. Come on, start pushing. Start pushing. Let's go see Johnny. Cut that wheel, Ant. Oh. Whoa, not that much. Wheels rub a little bit. You're doing great. Johnny! Let's get to work, buddy! You ready to do some welding? And here she's 6.30 in the morning. What are we gonna do today? They call me Johnny Pipes for a reason. <laughs> All right, so today we're here with Johnny Pipes himself <laughs> uh, to do the intercooler piping. So yesterday we mounted the intercooler. We already had the turbo on, we had the manifold on. Now it's time to connect all of these things with some pipes, couplers, and some clamps, right? That simple. That's, that's it. That's all we got to do. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Nothing Anybody to can it. do that. Yeah, literally. Why should I be paying you? I don't know. Because <laughs> you think I'm pretty? Okay, fair know. enough. Yes, and he's got the Oaks Garage shirt on today. He's ready. He got the memo. <laughs> Pays me to wear this shirt. Yeah, so. yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah, everyone's in uniform today. Yeah, look at these two guys. Look at it, it's so cute, you know? Unreal. <laughs> cute little thing. I like Ant. Don't oh, disrespect my inner It's cute, Jimmy. Just because it's not Ooh. like your LS turbo cars. Hey, hey, you'll grow up one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, though, it's pretty big for what it is, though, right? No, it looks good. It yeah. fits well. I'm sure you didn't have to chop anything, right? Nope. Nice. So, only one thing, all our couplers didn't show up today. Uh, so, We'll make that work. We'll see. We found these in like my coupler bin. This should be enough to kind of rig it all together and then tomorrow we'll change that with all the new couplers. I got some too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so uh, typical story. Don't order on FedEx. <laughs> uh-oh. What, don't say uh-oh. Oh, maybe it's inside. Well, we ordered two different sizes. Interesting. Oh, they pulled a little sneaky Pete on us. That's what they did. No. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I was nervous for a second. Yeah. Two and three quarters for the throttle body side and then two and a half for the turbo side. Yes. Okay. What else we got in here? Some bends. That is not for my car. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it's the intake. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> that is not for my car. No. Something like that. Those are two and a half. Now, is there a reason why you like to only order 90s? Um, buying a 45, it's like the same price pretty much as a 90, and you get 45 degrees more of a bend. It's just you figure out how much bend you need, and then you just cut it at that desired angle, and then you have leftover. You're gonna give away all your trade secrets. That's all right. There's plenty of work to go around. What's step number one, Johnny? We're gonna pull this housing off and cut it down and weld this um, tight radius cast elbow on the turbo. So if you guys could see, we're really close to the tower and I guess our apron here. And we can't really rotate it down anymore because it starts to touch the manifold at that point. So it's too tight for a coupler. So we're just gonna lop off the housing and weld a tight 90 on it. Yep, just like that. I see you there. Nice. How's the fit? Comfy. Yeah, not, not, bad. not bad. Not bad at all. Big fan of that, John. Got room for days. 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 All right, so check it out. Johnny is, ah, it's so hot. <laughs> Such a rookie. So Johnny put a groove or an angle into each piece because this is really thick. So when he welds it, he wants to make sure he gets full penetration. That's how we do it around here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, keep doing it. All right, so first big decision to make is how we're gonna put this, right? Because if we go straight, it looks nice. I really like following the rail like that, but we're gonna have to kick it up, then over and then down again. Johnny suggested going slightly up at an angle, so that way we can kind of go up and then down, and that's it, right? Yeah. That just looks nicer. It's gonna I look better that way. Yeah. But Versus... kicking up is just easier. I think we should go straight. Let's do it straight. Yeah. Damn, Johnny. Where'd Sorry. you find those welds? Let's go. 
let that cool down for a little bit. So the next big issue is coming off the intake manifold. So uh, it's a little tight right here because of the coolant inlet. We could do a 90 off and make things easy, but it kind of looks a little funky with a 90 straight off the intake, right? It's not the biggest deal, it's just eh, you know, just eh. Not today, Junior. Not today. So 45 kind of fits. Uh, it's a real big pain in the butt to get. We don't got it. So we're gonna try to make the straight work. We're trying to get into this hole. Probably doesn't seem too bad on camera, but mock that thing up for me. Yeah, it fills up pretty quick, so. Yeah, 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 we got plenty of pipe, cut it up. Okay. Make something work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little trial and error, I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fitment check. You ready? I'm, re I'm ready. Right, what are you right. eating on? What Let's start Don't worry about it. Is that a hash right? brown? Yep, let's go. No, it's a goddamn um, flip bar. Okay, interesting. How do we do, Johnny? How do you do? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta like send it and go from there. Tight is good. Tight's fine. Pose. That's what they say? <laughs> wow! Aluminum. That looks pretty cool. Sold. Glue it together. Let's go. Come on. Glue it up. Glue it up. I you can't have five minutes? Jesus. I'm just filming it just in case, you know? Maybe I have like one of those, oh man, moments. I gotta Light catch. Light bulb lights up above your head. Exactly. Ding. I'll leave you alone. Look at you go. Just mm. connecting the dots, you know? Animal, Johnny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. That flows so nicely. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna connect that to that. But we're gonna put a couple right here because if we didn't, it'd be really almost impossible to take the piping out, so. Yeah, so I think it's left over from a 90 that we cut. Yep. This is a 90. If we have just a 90, obviously we're not gonna be in line with our pipe coming mm -hmm. down. It's gonna do like a 110, 120. Yeah, I can add this, add this piece to increase it so it's like a 120. That works. So, so it's keeping the pipe the shortest as possible, kind of one of your main goals. Yeah. Yeah. And shortest as possible, and least amount of welds. Like that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's nice. That looks really smooth. Beautiful. Now I can see what you mean about using 90s. You can kind of make them in any shape you want. Right. Look at that, perfect. Then we'll rotate it a little bit. Yeah. Not too shabby. What do we got going on over here? <laughs> We're mating these pipes together. <laughs> Look at that crazy piece, dude. It looks like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Is that it? That's the fit right there. Come out. Right through the factory hole. Can't beat that. Oh, that looks so good, Johnny. Yeah. Doesn't stick out crazy far. Very efficient. You can't beat that. So we're gonna shove the coupler right here, right? Yep, right where these two are. Just enough so we can take both pipes out. Easy peasy. Oh, dude, that's cool. That's real good. All right, so the intake side is now, well, mocked up, so I loaded up, but there's a piece we gotta put in now. What is that piece, Johnny? You wanna let him know? Blow off valve? Blow off valve, oh, there we, we go. Do we don't run What, you, should we do that? We're gonna do that last? Check it out. So, I usually don't run a blow off valve, but I'm on a precision, and precisions are a little bit more. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's not, it, it ain't Garrett. That's all we're gonna say. It's a great turbo, but. They have a shelf life. So a blow off valve is definitely a must with these things. So uh, I, got, I went with the Turbo Smart one this time. So we're gonna see how this works. I, I hear good things about them, so we're gonna try them out. So we're gonna put this thing somewhere near the throttle body. I don't really know if we should hide it, show it off. What do you think, Deej? Should we hide it or should we show it off? Daily paper? Going through it. Yeah, what's the weather today in Japan? Show a little way. <laughs> Half it? Half. Johnny, what's your opinion on it? I think we should half it. I think I'm, I'm with the half look. Down? Side? No. Hidden? No. Halfy. Yeah. Halfy. Let's, let's half ass it. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Yeah, don't want to scratch worry, it. Don't worry about it. All right, 
Now moving on to the next part of the whole process, this side. So it actually looks like it's tall enough. So you probably don't have to kick it up like you thought you would. No, I think we're Gucci. No, I think we'll do like a 45 out of here. Yeah. Come this way and then shoot down. Nice and easy. Yeah. You got nice. this, right? Just a couple cuts, a couple tacks, and we're yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, A couple holes you gotta drill. Look what the cat dragged in. Let anybody in this place. Yeah, right? I walk away to my shop for three minutes. I come back, this dude's cutting holes in my chassis. Yeah. Johnny, you know what kind of car this is? It's a Nissan. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's perfect. You put it in a perfect location. So it actually mimics the other side pretty damn well. And there actually used to be a really bad rust spot there. So it worked out. Nice and clean. Do you want to show them this? So it had like a weird shape to it. And uh, obviously when you use a hole saw, you need a, a really good center guide. Right. So Before Johnny a took a piece of wood with the said hole saw, tapered it together, and it gave him a good guide. Electrician, man. That's there we go. That's it. Stealing all Johnny's tricks. Oh, man, Johnny. You're too good for your own good, kid. I know. Do what you got to do, homeboy. I know. We're gonna leave Johnny to it. Uh, we have Ant down here lately, and I've been putting him to work, which is really awesome. Having the extra set of hands is huge. So right now I have him working on the 32 to get a couple things finished. And uh, we figured out a pretty cool mod on this thing that I'm actually really stoked about. Look at this kid go. How you doing? Not bad. Not too so shabby. The line worked out pretty good. Nice, cool, awesome. So they all started threading. I have Ant replacing the master cylinder since the old one was real bad. And uh, well, to get a non-ABS R32 master cylinder, it's really expensive. You can still buy them new, but they're like, how much? $300. $300. That is insane. I'm gonna shut this off real quick. But being an S-Shasta guy, I know a lot of guys like to use the Frontier Master because it actually puts your brake lines on the other side to keep it away from some exhaust components. On the USDM cars, the lines are on this side. So when you have a manifold like this, you want to put them on this side to get away from the heat. So the cheat code is to get a Frontier Master, a Nissan Frontier Master, because the only difference with it is the lines are switched on the other side, just like an R32. So I bought a Frontier Master, which is like $65, and it's literally the exact same thing. The same. The same. Write that down, boys. So for all you guys with 32s, don't be spending all that money. I think the bore size is a little bit bigger. I think the, the R32 is a 7 8 while the Frontier one is actually one inch. S might feel better, might not be the feel you want, it might not work well with your brakes, but just take that with a grain of salt. But for 70 bucks versus 300, can't beat it. Cheat code. Rock Auto is going to be flooded with <laughs> Frontier orders. <laughs> so hopefully this will get the brakes going on this car. We could finally get this thing to stop. It might not be going right now, but it's going to stop. Tips and tricks. Look at this guy. Guns out, dude. Guns out, buns out, baby. Gotta get rid of this farmer's tan. That's unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> While Johnny's over there welding some things up, uh, Brian is out looking for coolant hoses or whatever. He's driving around. So before he gets back, I want to try and rip out all his ABS stuff because he's been yelling at me that he doesn't want to do it yet, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm taking it out. He's going to be pissed. No, because I bought him the ABS delete kit. So I have earned the right the Chase to... Chase Bay's one. Yeah, I'm, nice. I'm ripping them out. They're, oh, they're just making me mad. Rip them out. Help me rip them out. Because he's still going to be mad that we did it. Oh, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> ABS, great thing, right? Street cars, great. Track cars, great. Drift cars, everyone deletes it. Look at all this. All this, that, this, all that. None of it's being used. Very unnecessary. So I got him the ABS delete kit to get rid of all that, keep things simple, give us a way more room, and we're getting rid of everything besides these two lines, so. People are probably gonna not like this because ABS, oh, it's supposed to be the greatest thing since it's, sliced bread. It's been disconnected since he got the car. Oh, oh. Okay, no need to talk anymore then. Oh, shit, hurry, hurry, he's back. Is he? No, he's not. Yes, yet. he is, I swear. He's such a good come on, come on, come on. Get this out of here. Get that out. Get that shit out of here. Oof. Nice, that is a big part. Jeez. We should just leave it like this when he comes in. He'll be so bad. Please do. Just put it right here. Back the fuck up. <laughs> Nothing to see here, buddy. What did you cut? Oh my god. Um, well, I was planning on working here in this area. Yeah, do that. I'll work with Let you. Let them be short. Right? Even look at to see what I need for the kit. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I do this. Yeah, I do this. I see what you do behind the scenes too. And I get it done. <laughs> I get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Did they put it there? 
Nice. I love how uh, those are metal. Hold on. Yeah, where's, that's pretty cool. Where'd it go? Where's the back? So Brian just did the good old fashioned go in the back of the parts store and just start looking at random OEM hoses until it looks like it'll fit on your car. That's the swap technique. I got this one. Oh, nice right. bandy, boy. Oh, that's a good one. Get the 180. Get her in there. Bada bing, bada boom. That's your cheat code. You, get, you walk in the parts store, you say, hey, yo, Frank, I'm walking in the back. Frank! Don't you say shit about it. I ain't stealing <laughs> shit. And you find hoses like this. Oh, there's a nice little bend in it. Oh, I got to connect those two. Put some heat wrap on it. That's one. One Guess done. What? You can zip tie it to your brake lines. Oh, wait, I'm getting rid of those fucking things. <laughs> get that out of here. Let that fluid go everywhere. Let it bang. No! My God, the paint! The paint. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Get it out of there. Look at that. You don't need it anymore. Bye bye. Goodbye. Look at how much room he has. Look at that. Besides fl fluid leaking. Um, nice, dude. Love that. Get out of here. Ah, there we go. straightened it out. <laughs> there was a freaking 90 degree bend. That's out. so funny. We could take this whole thing out. All right. How much of it? All, all of it. All of it? Yeah. I was wrong. I was wrong. I looked too quickly. We're not keeping these two. We're keeping these two. So literally all of this is gone. Oh, yeah. There we go. See, doesn't it feel good? That's right. Get it out of there. It feels mediocre. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kill my sheet metal shears. Kill oh, them, Brian. Please. Put them in a coffin. It looks like we're going to Harbor Freight, Donnie. Oh man, isn't this the best day ever? <laughs> Probably worth some money. Ah! Look at that, look at all that room. Nice. So much more room, so much less stuff in the way, so much less stuff to break. Fantastic. It's a drift car. Realistically, any other E46, you probably shouldn't delete the ABS. 100%. Unless you drift the car, don't delete the <laughs> How are you looking? How are you looking? Oh, I love that piece, dude. That's so pretty. Nice and efficient. Gets the job done. Looks good. Same with this. I like it because you, you always try to hug the frame real tight, and I really appreciate that because I see a lot of kids that like come out, go around, yeah. loop de loop and turn, you know? Yeah, it helps when you have a super tight radius bend. Um, and it keeps it tighter, but yeah, I try not to have a 90, then a 90, then a 90 or something. I try to. That looks so good. Flow real nice. So what's going on over here? Talk so to we're him. We're bleeding the brakes. Mm -hmm. I get to be the pumper for once. This is fantastic. Love this. He never pumps. I'm always the one getting covered in fluid. Yeah. <laughs> got wrong. the intern here. He's killing it. Young Tone out here. He's doing good. He's killing it. So There's... we replaced the master. We replaced uh, one of the lines, and now it's it's getting there. This thing has yeah. brakes. I wish I could start it up right now because if we could start it up, then we can go rate because it has power steering right now. So what's the excuse? It's got I'm waiting for. I'm, I don't care what it has. I, right, it's I got no timing no belt why. on the engine, but we got the parts. So <laughs> next time I can put it together, we can go rip on this thing officially, officially. Well, on the books, what's the timing chain? Two, timing three belt? hours. Oh yeah, two, two, three. Back all together. What time? Is Sunlight. It? We'll save that for this weekend. We, we need something to look forward to. No, we got the shit. We got the shit. So, I got, look, I got a new radiator for her. I'm spoiling this thing, dude. Like, She's getting the treatment. Look at this. Brand new Missy fans. New battery box. Look at That's too nice for... I see him, though. I see you. She's got to work. She's got to work. work. She's got to work The next trip event is in a week and a half, and I really want to take this car. I think it'll be fun. So... You can make it. You know, as long as everything... <laughs> everything's great. Hey, crack that bleeder. <laughs> Let's get this going. It's just cool, dude. Like, this thing... When we got it, nothing worked. Nothing. It didn't start, it didn't stop, it didn't turn. The only thing it had it going for it, it rolled. It rolled and it had an engine in it. That was the only thing going for it. And so we're checking everything off the list and it feels good. It feels really good. She's coming. She's getting there. She's coming along. She's coming along. That's it. That's it. Gotta say too much. This thing is so close to being a freaking rager. Do you think it's gonna rage? Eh, it'll drift. It'll drift. <laughs> we'll make it rage though. We'll make it rage. Holding? Holding. That's right. That's good. That is good. What a mess. Here we go. That's my favorite part. A little tuna can roller right here. That's right. Make sure those couplers stay on. Yes, sir. I love this tool. Making all 300 wheel horsepower. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look wah, at wah. that. It really ties it all together. Cool. So you got to do this on one, two. Oh, you already did this side. I didn't even notice. That's right. One, two, three, four. Ready to go. Love that. That's it. <laughs> nice work, Johnny. Thanks. You killed it. So as you guys can tell, uh, the material that Johnny uses is a little bit more raw. It kind of looks very industrial, I guess. Mainly because you can get it easier for a better price and it's better quality. You just don't get that polish finished, right? Yeah. That's about it. But take a scotch bright to it, and you can make it look really nice. Before and after, only after like a half a minute or so. So we'll do this to all the pipings, make it look fresh, just like we did on the 33. And everything's good. Yep. Final test fit. Johnny, look at that, dude. All that welding and it still lines up. I'm so proud. I can't get over this piece looks awesome. I don't know you guys might some of you guys might think this looks simple But there's a lot going on between all these pieces and honestly Johnny really killed it here It's tight. It fits in the OEM holes. It's efficient. It looks good We just got to stand on all the piping put all the new couplers on and it'll look beautiful It just looks a little dorky right now with the mix match couplers and you know raw piping. We'll get it. We'll get it, buddy. We'll get it. There we go. Super simple, super clean, love it. Now the last thing we need is a big old pipe for the intake. Of course, the filter I ordered isn't in yet, so we can't fully mock it up yet. I mean, we kinda can. So Johnny ordered this giant four inch inlet. There we go, that's it. We're gonna leave it just like that. Johnny, send me home. We're good to go, buddy. Yes, sir. I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah, you like that? No, no, not I forgot, I didn't see that. <laughs> that's no, not gonna work, that's not gonna work. We can make a snorkel. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That is the look, dude. All right, so this is, this is all I have right now. <laughs> the one I got is bigger than this, but by two inches, so we could just account for that. Yeah, put that on there. What do you want me to do, dude? Just for, for looks, you know? See? It belongs in the trash can. It does, but for now, it's for test fitting. Yeah. Just, uh, you know. This is why I have gray hair, Jimmy. Interesting. Yeah, because the farther we can get this over here, away yeah. from this, the better. Mm. Well, of anything, what if we cut a hole here? Nope. And you would think, but nope. You're worried about hot air. I mean, there's going to be nothing but cold air down there. Nope. And all them horse puppies, you know? Mm, nope. <laughs> not cutting any more holes in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. So, but your other air cleaner is two inches longer than this one? Yeah, we could always cut this down. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Make it tight with that, and we'll be good to go. together all right check it out my new intake pipe oh that's nice there we go just picture a really nice black big air filter right here not that smushed red one we'll see you tomorrow oh johnny you killed it buddy thanks man this looks so awesome once i get the pipe cleaned up and we talked about this but yep. for now just take it in and enjoy it but tomorrow a couple will show up we'll get a mom we'll clean all the piping up we'll make it look real nice and really show off johnny's work johnny thank you for uh, going hard for me today i really no appreciate problem, it man. uh we'll finish it off tomorrow good night Night. Dinner's on you. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> what you doing? Uh, trying to get it ready to put the pipes in for good. So uh, we're still waiting for the couplers to show up. FedEx man, you never FedEx dude. You know. You're always waiting on FedEx. You always waiting on FedEx. I had to actually touch up the paint over here, so uh, I had to seal up all the bare metal. So it doesn't look the greatest, but luckily all this is covered. Um, like I said a million times a half before. Once we get running and going, we'll enjoy it for a little bit and pull it out and do the whole bay painting thing. But for now, we're just trying to get this thing to work. So this is always the cheat code. A lot of guys know about this. So, so this is trim guard. They usually make this for like going on the edge of like your door and stuff. So you don't nick it on things. As you just use it to slip on these edges. So your intercooler pipe doesn't rub on the metal. So it's not metal on metal. You can get this at advanced or AutoZone or whatever. If you're feeling real cheap, you could just get vacuum line and cut it in half. Right, Derek? We've all done it. We've all done it. Nothing wrong with it. This just looks a little bit nicer because it has more surface area. There we go. Cleans it up. Nice little OEM look. Make sure the piping isn't just rubbing metal That's to really metal. Nice. This was the best color I could find to match the paint for. I don't know. Luckily, all of this is covered. I'm not happy about it, but. I don't know what it looks like on film, but it actually doesn't look bad in person. You know? Thank you. It really does. I appreciate that. With the charge pipe and the air filter there, you're never going to see that. Just through trim on this side. If you guys want to see, it's literally just this stuff. It's like corny stuff people put on their door. It's not bad. For a couple bucks, it's definitely worth it. Makes it look nice and it keeps it fresh. So besides that, we scotch parted all the piping. So the piping actually looks very uniform now. 
We're not doing the whole polished look. I really like doing like the brushed aluminum look. I think it looks pretty classy. Has like a real nice OEM high end look to it, at least I think so. So I'm really, really happy with this. So we just gotta wait for the couplers to show up and then these things are finally going in. Look who decided to show up. Is this my boy? How are you? Thank you so much. All right, it wasn't my boy, but it's all here. I sure hope it's all here. It's about time. And let's get this together. Yes, that's what I like to see. Look at this, dude. There we go. All right, check it out. It was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Whatever. I mean, it, it's kind of cool looking. It's gonna get filthy. Filthy. Just spray paint it, right? Okay. Uh, it's kind of a look. Let's we'll see. Know. We'll see. I'm just gonna leave it on there for now. <laughs> So they sent us the wrong filter, but the white actually is kind of a vibe. It's not bad. If I if I knew it would actually stay white, I'd like it, but I ordered up the right one and they sent us the wrong couplers. So we don't have the couplers for this side. Uh, somehow, five inch couplers instead of two and three quarters. Don't know how it happened, but whatever. It's almost there. It looks awesome. I'm so happy. I got the blow of valve on, got the intake air temperature sensor on. It, Johnny killed it. Johnny killed it. Johnny killed it, but it still looks like trash. Don't see nah, that. Nah, just showing yeah. really good. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So we are one step closer to getting this thing running. I am so excited. This was a huge step. The whole intercooler piping and everything, the system is basically complete. Man, Johnny Fabs is out here, out here. Johnny dude. Fabs, Johnny Pipes, Johnny Shits, whatever you want to call him. Whatever you want to call him, man. He's out here. <laughs> He's out here. Oh, dude, this looks so freaking cool. Just picture the little pipe right there. I don't know. You got any, any other smart ass remarks you're going to add here, Derek? I mean, it'll be pretty sweet to have about half the power as my daily driver. Yeah, screw you. Whatever. I love it so much. We're getting there. Uh, fuel system and wiring, and we're ready to go. Dude, this thing's gonna be a killer car. Killer. All, all joking aside. Yeah, I appreciate that. That means a lot. Yeah. I mean, honestly, means a lot. It's gonna be cool. So, all right. Until then, um, we got a bunch of other stuff to do, so we're gonna end it for today. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Let me face palm it. <laughs>